In this video, I will provide you with what I think might be the easiest method you can use to design a geodesic dome type structure. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment area. If I don't really see that big of an interest, then I'll just kind of filter these babies out when I feel like it or put them on one of my other channels. So let's go ahead and get started with a six sided figure and six equilateral triangles. Each one of these triangles will have the same length and the same degrees in our example here. However, that might not be the case. So I'm going to start with one flat shape here. This is not going to have any slope to it, along with three footings. And I'll provide you with, again, a simple method for locating the footings. And keep in mind that this is the center point of the building. And most of the measurements are going to be taken from this point. Next up, we're going to take this design and create four of them. One for the top and then one for three sides of the building. And again, keep in mind, I'm still working with flat surfaces here. And we can make the footings taller or shorter if we need a little more height in our building. So not too difficult, I would imagine. Then we're going to fill in these areas here with two identical shapes over here and then a plumb surface here. This wall right here will be used for our doors and windows because it's going to be difficult to put them anywhere else. And that's the beauty of this design here. Instead of having a bunch of angles that will make it difficult for us to install windows and doors in. Next up, let's go ahead and pop the center out a little bit to give us some shape. Now I move the center out one foot to provide us with some slope and something that's going to help our building look more like a geodesic dome than if we leave it flat. And I'm not sure how much further this section needs to extend up. And I don't know if you could actually build something like this with a flat surface, because if you could build this with a flat surface, and obviously that would be without the exception of the roof, we're going to need some type of a pitch up here to shed water off of the top. However, once we get to the sides here, if we could actually create a flat surface, that would be a lot easier for us to install shingles or other roofing components instead of having individual shapes that we're going to have to deal with here. Again, we can't keep the top of the roof flat. However, it seems like we could keep these three surfaces flat if that wasn't going to create an engineering problem for our geodesic dome. Keep in mind, I'm just throwing this idea out here and will not be able to provide you with any structural engineering information. However, I will be providing you with construction information, framing information in future videos. So let's go ahead and throw some measurements out here. 10 foot equal sided triangles with 60 degree angles in every corner. So that would be a 60 degree angle here, 60 degree angle here, and here. And this will apply to each one of the triangles in this section. However, this might not work on your project. If you add some slope, you could change some of these angles slightly. Now here's something I found interesting in locating the footing. I do not know if this is going to work every single time. And keep in mind that the length of the footing should be equal to the length of this side. So you would have three of them the same size. And to create a 60 degree angle from the bottom, I realized when drawing this to scale, this measurement here, and that would be from this point here to the outer side of the footing, was exactly the same as this measurement here. And again, keep in mind, this is on a flat surface. This measurement would change if we put some slope or some pitch on each one of these angles here. However, this wouldn't be difficult to figure out if you're drawing this out on a piece of paper or in a CAD program. And the location of the footing can also be found by drawing a straight line or having a string run from the center point to this center point here. Remember, this is five foot on each side and then going straight out. This is going to be the middle of the footing. And then the footing is going to be parallel to this line here. And of course, there might be an easier way to draw this or design it. And if I come up with one, I'll be glad to provide you with that information in the future. And as always, if you have any questions or helpful comments about building projects using geodesic math, 
For dome-shaped homes, feel free to share that with us in the comment area also.